Good morning. I am about to have a cup of coffee. I have told myself I'm going to start having one cup of coffee, at least one morning. We'll see if that lasts, who knows. All I have in there is two tablespoons of this creamer for one point. So that is one point so far and I'll have breakfast here in a bit. I need to eat more. I'm about to start a workout program in a couple days. Shout out right here, uh, Alive by Wit. Here is the app if you wanna get it. It does have a Black Friday sale if you're interested. It's gonna be, I think it's like 11.50 a month with like after taxes with the Black Friday sale. And I'm very excited to get started. I think the sale goes through December 5th. I'm not affiliated with that at all, but I really love Whitney Simmons and I've been wanting to try her app for a long time. And so it's like a birthday present to myself. My birthday is in December. And I'm gonna go ahead and start um, on Monday. So if you wanna start on Monday, I know this is kinda of like short notice because you're seeing this on Sunday. I'm starting on Monday. But um, I'm just ready to, to get going. I don't wanna keep putting it off. I don't wanna wait till January 1st. It's like I, I'm going to a cabin with my family uh, mid-January. It's like by then I could already have the first six week program completed, which I think would be really great. So I'm gonna start that. I'm gonna share some of the experience starting that if you're interested. Um, but she does have the monthly and the year, like if you wanna pay for the whole year on a Black Friday sale, just go to the website to sign up because when I tried to do it through the app, it did not give me like the Black Friday discount. Had I not been on her Instagram, I would have known that there's a discount. So do it from the website and then download the app. That way you can get the discount, so. All right, I'm gonna go drink this coffee. I am ready to eat breakfast. This is two pieces of toast. Each of them has one tablespoon of this sugar-free strawberry jam. This bread is one point per slice. That's one point for two tablespoons. I have this yogurt. It's two points. I ran out of my fat, my like regular plain one, you, uh, making two ingredient dough. So I haven't been able to try any of the suggestions y'all have given me, but I do plan on going to the grocery store, buying more and trying some of those for zero points. But for now I have this for two points. It's underneath this red pear that I also have sprinkled cinnamon on top. So I have two points for my bread, one point for my jam, two points for my yogurt. So that makes this a five point meal. I will be plenty stuffed after get good amount of protein with that Greek yogurt, so I'm happy. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm going to do, uh, once it like digest a little bit, I'm gonna do some yoga. I'm just gonna pick one of the yoga with Adrian, something chill and mellow, something just to kind of get my body used to moving and stretching. I was in the car a lot yesterday, so stretching is gonna feel really, really good. Um, going straight back to the gym can be a little difficult, like on the first day or two when you get back kind of on track. Not really on track because you know we're all on a journey there's going to be better days and worse days and all the things but my stomach still full of some foods that didn't agree with it all that well the last thing i really want to go do is like stress my body out by slamming heavy weights at the gym i'm starting that program on monday by the way i don't know if i mentioned i'm doing the alive beginner uh, it's four days of weight training and then on the third week they add a fifth day of cardio, which is walking up an incline. You do need a gym membership really to do that particular program. But let me know in the comments if you plan on doing that with me, a live beginner. Um, but basically I just wanna get back into moving and a movement that feels good. And for me, that's yoga. I might go for a walk. It's raining on and off here all day. I don't feel like going to the gym. I don't wanna be like inside, but if it breaks in the rain, I might go for a nice walk, get some vitamin D, enjoy being outside in nature that always lifts my mood so those are my two plans today so far it's gonna be pretty low-key i need to like create my shopping lists and all the things so i can go shopping tomorrow so i can really be on track for monday and that takes time so who knew that that would be like the most stressful thing as an adult is like deciding what you're putting in your mouth constantly like never knew the uh the burden that was gonna be. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I finished my breakfast and it's really cold in the house and I just want a good cup of tea. 
I just wanted to show you, I normally brew just a plain cup of water first to get kind of like all that coffee gunk out. Pour that out and now I'm going to do six ounces. I'm from the south, y'all. We don't, we don't have electric tea kettles in every house. So I use my Keurig. Because if it don't do this, then I'm boiling a pot of water, which seems slightly ridiculous. If I had a bigger kitchen, I would definitely have an electric kettle, but I don't have anywhere to store it. So, Keurig for the win. I love Earl Grey tea. I don't put anything in it. Sometimes I'll do honey if I want it a little sweeter, uh, like when I first started drinking. But now that I'm used to drinking tea without sweetener, I don't have anything. But I do let it steep for about three minutes. Look at that. It's a hug and a cup. Just gotta be patient. Yes. Oh yeah. This is a hot mess, so just, you know, maybe don't judge. This is a great way though. Um, I have, this one is peppermint cheer. It has vanilla and peppermint. This is the only peppermint one I like. The other ones are a little too pepperminty for me. But even my daughter will like some of these, like the winter spice. These are herbal, so they have no caffeine, which is great, but they have spices and it's warm. And so if you're a person who loves like hot chocolate or apple cider, you might want to try to get a few different teas and see if that kind of hits the spot for you. Uh, there are no points. It's just delicious goodness. And herbal tea I've heard is quite good for you, so. If that's true or not, I don't know. While we are waiting for my tea to brew, I shared like gathering some of this stuff up on one of my what I eat in a day. So I thought I'd share my final tree product. My tree normally is like full out ribbon, glitter, extravaganza. I did not go all out with like buying a whole bunch of stuff. I tried to repurpose stuff, make a few things out of ornaments I no longer needed. Isn't that beautiful? I got that from Home Goods. I think those are so pretty. Made that yarn one. I bought these white ones. That was a DIY as well. These larger ones that are in the tree are DIY. That's a DIY. I got that from Home Goods, and the beads are from Walmart, and everything else I had and just kind of patched together. I wanted natural woods and, and metals and things, but without being rustic, which is kind of difficult to find in my opinion. This is the tree I had made. I actually just posted a reel on my Instagram if you wanna see how I made that. And then for the life of me, could not find the stocking holders. I looked everywhere. So I just threw up a command hook. And so we're gonna have one stocking just to kind of balance out the fireplace. That's what we're going with. Put some twinkle lights in some garland. Boom. Chill holiday at the Stout House. I need to get a fire going in there, like right now. I'm ready to start cooking my lunch. Ignore the laundry that's going. I had some leftover vegetables that I just threw all the random things together. I sprayed them with just an oil spray and then added 21 seasoning salute to them and I'm going to air fry them. I just make up the rules here guys. I'm going to do 380 for 15 minutes. Now when there's only a couple minutes left I'm going to throw in some chicken that I already have made. This is the Juicy Chicken 101. You can find that on Instagram. You're going to take your chicken breast. You're going to season it with garlic, salt, lemon pepper, garlic, and paprika. I prefer the smoked paprika. Season it really well on both sides. You're gonna sear it in a cast iron skillet for five minutes, flip it, and then throw it in your oven on 400 for five to eight minutes, just kind of depending on how thick your chicken is. Mine was the really thin cut, so I added it to the oven for five minutes, and it was delicious. This is what we had for dinner last night after getting home because it was fast and easy. And my husband, I guess it was the first time I made it for him. I've made it for my own lunches uh, several times, uh, so he really liked it. So that's. The chicken that I'm going to add to that vegetables and then I'm also going to have this creamy tomato soup this is three points for one cup 
I really like this. I'm not a tomato soup fan. It feels like a really heavy whipped cream vibes in it without being bad on calories or anything. So I can microwave this and have this ready to eat first while I'm waiting on the rest of it to cook because your girl's hungry right now. This is literally a three point lunch. All right, soup is ready to consume. This is also really great with a grilled cheese. And because it's this like convenient packaging, I can just pour out my cup and then throw this in the fridge. And now I have something to go with my lunches for the next like four days. Here is the rest of my lunch because that soup is gone. So I got a big old bowl of veg and chicken. Super simple, three points for this and the soup. Really easy. Snack time. I'm trying to get more protein, trying to get more calories. So protein smoothie it is. This is the Fruity Cereal Protein by Alani New. It's pretty sweet. It's two points for one scoop. I have the light orange juice, one cup already in there. That's also two points. This is a four point smoothie because I'm a rebel, y'all. I'm not gonna track my fruit that I blend. I don't care, I'm not gonna do it. This is half a banana in there. As your bananas get ripe, don't throw them away, especially if they're even browner than you like to eat them. Instead, peel them, kind of cut them in half, just rip them in half, and then put them in a little Ziploc and freeze them. They're going to make the best, the best smoothies, guys. The best smoothies ever. Then I have about five dark cherries, and the rest of this is blueberries. You can use almond milk or cashew milk or whatever, but this protein is so sweet that I really like the orange juice. I'd rather count the points for the orange juice and have it to kind of help add a little bit of acidity to all that <clears throat> super sweetness. Four point smoothie, the sides of my face. It's really good. I don't think you would ever know this is a a protein smoothie. My husband absolutely loves this smoothie. He started making them for himself. That's love for a smoothie. For him, you know. Mm -hmm. Alright y'all, I'm getting ready to make dinner. I'm going to use this griddled onion cheeseburger from HelloFresh. I used to love having this service and I just kept all the cards. This is one that we really liked. I'm going to have mine without the bun, but feel free to have the bun if you'd like. We gotta get started with the secret sauce because you basically pickle some shallots while you're doing the rest of the stuff and then you combine it later to make a sauce. This is linked down below. Uh, it takes you to the Weight Watchers app where I have it written out. So we need four tablespoons of shallot, which is the same as a fourth of a cup, just in case you did not know that. We need three tablespoons of white wine vinegar or two teaspoons of sugar. I'm gonna use the monk fruit just so I don't have to count the points. But if you wanna use regular sugar, go for it. I'm gonna do a pinch of salt. I'm gonna stir this together and let it chill out. At the end, we'll drain this. We're gonna let that vinegar do its work to pickle those shallots. I have my cast iron heating on medium heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add these onions because they're burning the heck out of my eyes. Okay, don't forget about those onions that are back there. You'll wanna stir them from time to time. We're also gonna make potatoes. I'm making enough for four servings of these burgers and fries. That way we can have them for lunches. So this is 24 ounces of Yukon Gold potatoes. Yes, I did weigh them out. I'm just gonna cut them into fry-like shapes. I'm gonna air fry them. So potatoes are no longer a zero point food for me because of the new program. If you weren't aware, Weight Watchers came out with a new program where we all have the same zero point foods. So potatoes are no longer a zero point food of mine. However, they're still reasonably points. So for a fourth of these potatoes is only three points for me, which is awesome. I have no complaints about that. I have so many more zero point foods now. A lot of people got points back. I didn't, I lost two points, but I think that's because 
I had less zero point foods. So I had more, already had more daily points than other people. All right, we will come back when these are all cut up and I'm ready to get them seasoned up. Potatoes are cut. I'm just gonna air fry them. So I'm gonna spray my rack down or whatever you call it, basket. So in my potatoes, I'm gonna reuse that bowl for the meat later. I'm gonna spray them again. Add some salt and some pepper. And it's gonna be one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. So that was one teaspoon. I'm gonna stir it and then add half a teaspoon and then more salt and pepper. Wow, it smells absolutely delicious just with the garlic powder. All right. These are gonna go in the air fryer at 390 for about 20 minutes. Here are those onions. I added the few random shallots that were extra as well. My pan is starting to get a little dry. I don't have any oil. I just did a little bit of that canola spray and then I made sure to add salt and pepper to my onions. That salt will draw out the moisture and help kind of protect them, but it is starting to get a little dry so I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth. This is just something you can use instead of adding extra oils. And I'm just gonna continue to keep my eye on this. Now I'm gonna make the second half of that delicious hamburger sauce. All right, it's gonna be loud in here. We got air fryer going, laundry going, onions going. Let's make the rest of that sauce. I'm gonna need four tablespoons of ketchup. Now, if I have any extra ketchup on the side of my plate, I just don't count it. That's just something I choose not to count. I rarely have ketchup, and when I do, I don't have much of it. It's like, there'll always be more on my plate, like, because I barely dip anything in it. Four teaspoons of Dijon mustard, which is gonna be just over a tablespoon. I already have this out, so. All right, if you wanna eyeball it like me, basically try to get a teaspoon on top of a tablespoon because a tablespoon is three teaspoons. Now we're gonna get sour cream. We're gonna add two more teaspoons of this monk fruit and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. If the lumps are gonna drive you crazy, you can do this with a whisk and it will get the lumps out easier. I'm not that worried about it. Hamburger time, I'm sure you love looking at this raw meat. This is just over a pound of lean beef. I'm gonna add salt and pepper. And that's all the recipe calls for is salt and pepper. I'm gonna add a little Uncle Chris's uh, once I get them into patties, just because I really like it and it goes well with the other flavors, but if you just want to use salt and pepper, it'll still taste absolutely delicious. Like even-ish, even-ish, and then like kind of cut a grid into it into four pieces so I have about, about an idea of how much to grab. Basically use my two hands to like slap it and flatten it and then I use my thumb to kind of tuck in those edges so that they don't get frayed or as they fray they kind of get stuck back together. I'll see you when these are made and we're ready to sprinkle on our Uncle Chris's. Just wash my hands to check on these onions. I think they are good. We need these to come out so we can cook our patties in here. While our pan is getting just a little bit warmer, add a tiny bit of salt on this side. A little black pepper. And then my Uncle Chris's. This stuff is absolutely delicious on steak. 
by the way. All right, then I'm gonna put this side down in the pan and then season the other side in the pan. These are gonna cook three to five minutes per side, just depending on how done you want them. I cooked that about four and a half minutes. And then I'm gonna probe these at three minutes to see where the internal temp is. All right, these are all reading in like 155-ish, which is good for me. On mine, I'm just gonna put one of these one point, like American cheeses. Yeah, yeah, it's not real cheese. I like it, it's one point. That's what I'm using. For my husband's are gonna use just sharp cheddar. Use whatever you like. I'm gonna leave two of them undone so we can warm them up in the air fryer and just top them with cheese when we wanna eat them. We'll probably have them for dinner tomorrow, honestly. This is really big. I don't have a lid that fits it, so I'm just gonna cover it with my cooking sheet just to melt that cheese. I'm gonna turn the heat off. All right, shallots have been drained. In they go. I'm gonna go ahead and add sauce to my little to-go container so I know that I have leftovers for my other days. Otherwise, I'll end up using all way too much today. Here is my leftovers. I'm gonna let this cool. I'm gonna top this with onions uh, once it's cooled down a little bit. And then we have lunches or dinners for the next couple days. I'm gonna show you mine and my husband's. We, you can tell we get a good amount of potatoes. So if you would like a burger, you're gonna smother some of this sauce on the top and bottom. Get your super cheesy burger on. And then we have a whole bunch of onions. My onions were extra large, but we love onions, so I wasn't too worried about us having too much. There you go. That is the burger. If you have extra sauce, you can put it on the side. You can put ketchup on the side. However, I am just having mine bunless. So I'm gonna have my burger. A good amount of onion, because I love it. Good amount of lettuce. This is butter lettuce. I'm gonna add mine on top, because I'm gonna cut it up and kind of mix it up. Like, mostly a hamburger bun, but a little bit of a salad. So this whole meal was 10 points, which brings me to my 23 of 23 points for the day. I ended up pairing this with my store brand's version of a Coke Zero. And it was pretty good. I left a different secret sauce down below that I like more. And it wouldn't be me eating without my dog creepily staring at me. It is dessert time. And I'm going to attempt to make some popcorn in this collapsible bowl. I'd love to show you. I'd love to show you the front of this box. But Amazon literally just sent it to me in this box. No wrapping. No no plastic bag or anything, just stuck a label on the box and sent it. So this does collapse down when I'm not using it. So it's only that thick when I don't want to use it, which is great because, you know, storage. And you just add the kernels. You can add oil if you want. I'm gonna add a little bit of this um, and then some salt and then you microwave it with this little hat on. And it like grows and pops. We'll see how it works. I'm going to use this butter theater style. This is zero points, and I'm going to add some of this as well, which is zero points, and a little bit of salt. So let's see how this works. All right, I have a fourth of a cup of kernels in there. You don't have to spray it, but because I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt, I'm spraying it basically just to get it to like stick together. All right. And it goes two to three minutes until the popping slows down.
This cooked for two and a half minutes. Look at that, man. Got friggin' popcorn. That's amazing. Thank you. Who, whatever subscriber mentions this in my comments. Uh, my dog likes popcorn. It's not for you, buddy. He's very excited. Uh, thank you, subscriber, who let me know that this was even an option. So I'm going to take a little bit, spray a little bit of that butter, and then sprinkle a little bit of this. There are many flavors of this. I saw a white cheddar. I saw a couple others. Oh, that might have been aggressive. I'm sharing this with my husband, so I feel like it'd be easier to separate it. And... This is kind of hard to do with one hand. I'm not gonna lie. I, I should have got my tripod. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Mmm. You know what? That's really good. And that is zero points. I think I just found my new evening snack. That's awesome. I'm definitely gonna get the white cheddar and some of the other ones to try, now that I know I like it. I'd never tried that brand before, so. I wanted to give it a go before I bought a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, that wraps up my day, guys. I used all 23 points but did not go over. I will see y'all on Thursday for the start of Vlogmas. Bye, guys.